Welcome back to my channel. This story was penned by Middle Easy. Matt Brown, born January 10, 1981, is an American retired mixed martial artist who competed in the welterweight division of the Ultimate Fighting Championship, UFC, from 2008 until 2024. Brown gained entry into the UFC after competing on the seventh season of the Ultimate Fighter television series. Brown was born and raised in Jamestown, Ohio. After being homeschooled for two years, he attended Greenview High School, where he struggled to fit in. Living in a small town with no foreseeable future outside of a low-paying factory job as a machinist, Brown grew frustrated and turned to drugs and alcohol. For a period, he was addicted to meth, regularly used cocaine and would often get into fights at parties. By his early 20s he had survived a heroin overdose, which led to his nickname The Immortal, had been homeless and had been to prison. Brown's interest in MMA started with drunkenly, practicing various submission holds that he had seen on VHS tapes featuring Ken Shamrock on Friends. Brown faced Digo Lima on June 19, 2021, at UFC on ESPN 25. He won the fight by knockout in the second round. This fight earned him the performance of the Knight Award. Brown was scheduled to face Brian Barberina on December 4, 2021, at UFC on ESPN 31. However, Brown forced out of the bout due to testing positive for COVID-19. The bout against Brown was rescheduled and eventually took place on March 26, 2022, at UFC on ESPN 33. Brown lost the back and forth bout via split decision. The fight was awarded the Fight of the Night Award. Brown faced Cord McGee at UFC on ABC4 on May 13, 2023. Brown won the bout via knockout in first round. Sub V equals X louder equals fast. Slash Sub this win earned him the performance of the Night Award. On May 4, 2024, Brown announced his retirement from mixed martial arts. Matt Brown is the owner of Immortal Martial Arts Center and the co-founder and co-owner of Immortal Coffee. Before fighting professionally, Brown was a personal trainer. Brown is an avid heavy metal fan and was in the crowd when former Pantera guitarist Dime Bag Darrell was murdered on stage while performing with his new band Damage Plan on December 8, 2004. Brown approached heavy metal vocalist Jamie Jasta of the band Hate Breed to write his UFC entrance theme song. The song, titled The Immortal, was released on iTunes on March 10, 2015. Brown also appears on The Great MMA Debate, podcast alongside Mark Coleman, Damon Martin, and Jeremy Loper. Matt Brown, a UFC favorite, called it quits yesterday after nearly two decades in the sport. With a record of 24-19, Brown was known for his exciting fights, rarely leaving it to the judges. His journey began after joining The Ultimate Fighter Season 7 in 2008, quickly making his mark in the UFC welterweight division. Brown took to Instagram yesterday to announce his retirement from competition, exactly one year after his victory over Court McGee. Despite his one-punch stoppage in that fight, he hasn't returned to the cage since. Not doing it again, he wrote in a lengthy post. I'm out. That's the announcement. My life will now be dedicated to serving others. Growing others in the martial arts and building businesses that can help the community and the world. Thanks to Dana White and UFC for giving me a platform to express myself and my brand, but it is time to move on to bigger, better things. I'll talk about this on the podcast with Damon Martin, and go even deeper when I start my own podcast that I've talked about starting for years now, lol. Anyway, be prepared for new content and a new immortal. Check out link in bio for the best martial arts instructional, coffee, creatine gummies and Airbnb listings that I own. There's something there for everyone, let's go! Fans were taken aback by Matt Brown's unexpected retirement yesterday, following months of speculation since his victory over McGee. Despite two knockouts in his last three fights, he only suffered a split decision loss to Brian Barberina. Brown's retirement highlight was his win over McGee, a memorable moment during the UFC's fourth ABC card. His stunning knockout in the first round earned him a $50,000 bonus. Renowned for his high-octane fighting style, Brown amassed nine post-fight bonuses, the second most in UFC welterweight history. Despite his popularity, he never vied for UFC gold, with his closest opportunity being a decision loss to Robbie Lawler in a welterweight title eliminator back in 2014. Please subscribe, comment, like, share, and follow for more content.
Please support my channel by sending it to Cash App, Dollar Director 327. Thank you for your gift, it is greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching!